All right. On Thursday, while the Mueller report came out, TMZ reports that Lori Laughlin's daughter, Olivia, was spotted partying with her fellow YouTuber influencers just days after her mother pleaded not guilty to conspiracy charges related to the college admissions scandal. With us now to discuss, criminal defense and litigation attorney, former prosecutor Alex Little. Alex, good to see you. Uh, yeah, reports also out this week, may have gotten lost in the Mueller news, that a number of these kids now are getting target letters from federal prosecutors. You think about going after somebody's kids, that's almost like tactics prosecutors use against the mob. Yeah, this is a really aggressive tactic. So what a target letter is, it means the prosecutors have sent a letter and said, we think you've committed a crime. Hmm. We're giving you some notification of that, and we want you to talk to us about next steps. That hmm. may be cooperating with the government. It may be an indictment. But you don't see this in most criminal yeah. cases in federal court. I mean, this, this really seems to be pitting the kids against the parents at some point and, and holding the parents hostage. If you don't plead guilty, yeah. uh, we're going after your kids. Is that, does that signify the prosecutors have perhaps a weak case? You know, it signifies that they're probably worried about going to trial. They don't want to play this out and get maybe a juror to say, I don't think this is serious enough for conviction. They want to push hard to get everybody to plead guilty before seeing the inside of a courtroom. Hmm. If this does go to the inside of a courtroom, do prosecutors have an issue with the argument that, look, people make donations all the time to try to get their kids in? How is it that if you have $6 million for an art building, you're a philanthropist, you give 600000 to the crew coach, you're a felon? Yeah, you know, it's one thing, if you go to a nice restaurant, you don't really want to go see what's going on in the kitchen. And I think private universities like the ones that are named here don't really want the public to see what goes on in those back does, rooms Does that come admissions. out? Can all of a sudden defense attorneys go after Absolutely. each one of these universities and say, all right, what percentage of people whose, kid, whose parents gave over X get in, et cetera? Oh, 100%. If I'm, a, if I'm a defense attorney, I'm going straight for the jugular, and I'm getting those universities to tell me everything about that college admissions process, because hmm. the idea is is they've per, these, these defendants have somehow perverted that or tricked the university. If I'm a defense attorney, I say, wait a minute, university, you know much more than you're letting on. Ooh, that could get uh, uncomfortable at times and uh, interesting as well. Uh, all right. Would, if you were a defense attorney, would you want to take this to trial? Because at least some of these parents seem to be digging in. Yeah, you know, it sort of it really depends. I think some of these defendants, the folks you saw Felicity Huffman plead guilty, I yeah. think her guilty plea makes sense. They're going to have a felony. It's not really going to affect their life day to day as celebrities. Well, and unless they go to actresses. jail, you know, there's very little likelihood under the federal sentencing guidelines or given the facts of this case that they're going to see the inside of jail. Oh, okay. So those folks, it makes sense. For folks they've accused for higher numbers, where the fraud is in the you know be six hundred thousand or a million dollars or bribery, there's a chance they'll see jail. And those mm -hmm. folks may just be like, I'm not spending a day in jail. Let's fight. All right. Well, well, Kim Kardashian has weighed in on this, uh, evidently, uh, telling CNN that if they, meaning her kids, couldn't get into a school, I would never want to use privilege to try to force them into a situation where they wouldn't thrive in any way. Speaking of thriving and Kim Kardashian's yeah. thoughts on uh, child raising, where does this play for the kids? Because if all of a sudden you're a 50 or 60 year old hedge fund manager with tens of yeah. millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars, and you have the felony conviction, you talk about all right. If there are kids who are then implicated in this, that changes yeah. the calculus. Well, I think on the one hand, remember, these are very privileged kids. These are kids of yeah. millionaires and multimillionaires. So they're going to be OK. They're not going to be out on the street. But it absolutely puts pressure on them in a way which I don't think is commiserate with sort of, you know, what, what they what did do you in terms of wrongdoing. What do you think behind this? You've dealt with a lot of prosecutors. And this is this just doubling down? Or do it, they think they, they have something different here? What's happening? No, I, I think it's doubling down. I think it's also a sense of like, gosh, these people really did something wrong. And we're going we're gonna to punish them for it. There's that sort of true believer hmm. sense in some prosecutors' offices. Um, but they are going for the it's what they've been yeah. trained to do, and it's what they're doing here. For sure. All right, Alex Little with us. We'll follow the case and have you back to talk about it. Thanks so much, my friend. Thank you. Good to see you.